Hi everyone, so as promised this is a tutorial on how to create your own OER. So OER, as you know, is uh, educational resources and this can range from text um, to audio, video, to demonstrations where you actually record yourself and this can be given all around the world. In this tutorial we're going to create text, audio and then create an animation with it. I'll show you how to do this with PowerPoint 2010. So the main ethos of OER is that it's open, so it has a Creative Commons license which means that it can be modified and adapted for different teachers and different learners around the world. And I'll show you how to do this with Creative Commons images to ensure that it is free to everyone. So examples of these videos that you, the teachers, can create include, include a video where you record your audio and then what you do with a smart tablet the explanation and then I'm going to have a second circle which is the same as the top one if this is a cylinder from the bottom. It could also include you can film your lesson or outside the lesson but you're explaining that key concept. I could have had this done for you beforehand but what could you have said if I'd have got this beaker full of something and said it's water? What could you have said to me? Today I'm going to show you how to create your own animation using PowerPoint with images, the key text and also your audio from your explanation. Atoms are extremely small. It cannot be seen with the naked eye or even a magnifying glass. So you can start off by writing your script. For a three minute video we usually recommend for you to write around about 400 to 500 words. Take time to convey your concept and for the students to remain engaged in watching the video. Try and write your script as you would say it in the video. For example, in this video we are going to learn about corrosion. Imagine four objects, an aluminium toy, an iron nail, a copper pipe and a gold ring are left out in the open for many years. So if you say it as you would say to your students, that's the best way of writing your script. Once you've written your script, I like to do a quick storyboard. Out draw and outline the different scenes within your animation. So you have your script and then you have the basic scenes just drawn quite quickly. So you have an idea of what you're going to create for the animations. So now you've written your script and your storyboard, you're ready to record your audio. You can do this with free software called Audacity. Just type it into Google and the first page that comes up, just click on it and then click download. Once you've downloaded it, you can just go through the steps and it will install for you. Open Audacity and then click on record whilst reading through the script. And here it records for you. Then to stop it, click stop. You can, if you make a mistake, it's fine. You just edit it out. Do this by highlighting the mistake and clicking backspace or delete. Once you're happy with your audio, you can save it. Go to File, Export, and save it where you want. And there you have your audio. Alternatively, if you do not have a microphone on your laptop or computer, you can record your audio using a smartphone. Record it on your smartphone and then save the audio and then email it to yourself. So now is the time that we're going to animate. So to start with your animation, open up PowerPoint, PowerPoint 2010 on a PC and PowerPoint 2011 on a Mac. First of all, what you need to do is select themes or design, slide size or page setup and change it to 16 by 9 or on screen show 16 by 9. This is the standard for video and you don't want black bars so it's best to have it at 16 by 9. Once you've got this you can start creating your scenes just like you had in your storyboard. Text, text box, let's put in corrosion. Now you want to get your images. I'm going to show you how to source your own Creative Commons images. You can do this by going on search 
dot creative commons dot org this is a fantastic repository where you can search lots of different websites within this functionality so I'm going to look for a gold ring I'll try open clip art library first which gives a lot of different cartoons and illustrations which are fantastic so it searches all of open clip art for you for creative commons images but I might decide I want a photo instead so you just click back you already have your gold ring here and then let's search Wikimedia Commons and it automatically searches all of the Creative Commons images within Wikimedia Commons so you have these photos which are fantastic I'm going to choose this one So you can either download it here and put it into a folder or you can copy it and paste it straight into PowerPoint. There you have it. So if you continue creating all of your scenes with the images that you'd like to convey your message, now you've got your images in here, we want to animate it to make it much more engaging. Remember, the animations should be relevant to the explanation and should enhance the message for the learners. So go to animations. Here you have entrance effects, which can be appear or fly in or split, peek in. There's lots of different animations which you can use you have your emphasis effects so if you've already had your image come in but you want, want you say the gold ring again you have something which can emphasize it such as teeter or pulse and also you have your exit effects so say you've stopped talking about gold rings and you want to move on to the iron nail you can exit the image with one of these animations such as dissolve or peek out or shape and say you have two slides and you don't want to cut between them you can easily put a transition on this which makes it much more appealing to the eye such as a push or a wipe or a fade. So when you've got your images and animations finished and you're ready to save your video from PowerPoint, what you do is go to slideshow and record slideshow and then go through your slideshow whilst listening to the audio or reading through the audio just so everything is in sync. Once you've finished, save your slide timings, and it's done, and then you go to File, Save as Movie. On a PC, this would be File, Save and Send, Create a Video, and Create Video. On a Mac, it's Save as Movie. Select where you'd like to save it, and click Save. and there you have your video so now you have your video which has been exported from PowerPoint and your audio you can bring these together in free editing software for PC you can use Windows Movie Maker you can, this should be installed on your laptops or computers but if not just type in Windows Movie Maker to download the free version in this case, it's best to download version 2.6 for Microsoft. If you're using a Mac, you can use iMovie, which is a free download. It should be on your Mac already, but if not, you can just download it um, by searching on Google. So this can be done on different editing software. It's about choosing the one that's most applicable to your computer and your skills. 
so when you have your editing software, you bring in your audio and your video, and then bring it both onto the timeline. And when it's in sync, you go File, Export, or Save Video, and save it where you want. And there you have it, your video. You can choose to put this on the open learning repositories as you'd like. You can put it you can sign up to YouTube and upload it for learners around the world. You can upload it to OER Commons. As you'd like. This is your way of giving your top quality teaching for learners around the world. Thank you for watching.